Hey, what's up? This is Jess, um, the lead nerd, and I just ran into a problem with Premiere Pro, as always, and I figured it out. So I just wanted to see if, um, you know, I could help anybody else that's looking for it. I saw this problem um, in the forums, and some people, you know, were able to fix it, and some weren't. Um, and it was also from a couple of years ago, so I just wanted to show that there's still a problem. Um, of course now I don't have the error exactly, but what was happening is I have, um, some different clips from, um, a GoPro. So I did like a video time lapse and I did a, you know, regular, you know, just regular video thing. Of course, you know, my, I'm on a laptop, so my, you know, my uh, preview isn't great, but anyway, um, so I did a time lapse for some, and I also did the regular video. So what happened was, is when I did the time lapse, um, it, it put it in one folder and those, the videos in that folder worked great. And the videos in the other folder, it was like GoPro 100 and the other one was like GoPro 101. GoPro 101 videos all um, were importing as only audio MP4. Um, which is annoying because the preview um, would show up everything was fine, um, you know, so the preview of everything would be fine, but not the, um, the, uh, the audio would come through, but not the, not the video for the GX, you know, type files. So, um, what I did was, is I first, I renamed the file, so it's Dogpalooza, I renamed it um, dash one, because, you know, I'm a, you know, it's easy, whatever. Okay. Um, so I renamed the file and then I, you know, deleted everything in here and then I went to edit preferences and then media, it's supposed to be media cache, go to media cache. Um, and then I clicked delete unused. Okay. Um, so do that. In an, in some other tutorials, um, they had like they had an actual clean um, clean memory cache database button. So some people would say you know press the clean memory media media cache button, but it's not there. That button is now this delete unused media cache files delete unused. You're gonna want to click delete unused, and then re-import everything in. And it worked for me, and uh, hopefully it works for you. Um, so let me know in the comments down below. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. Oh, my God. <coughs> let me know in the comments down below if this helped you. I hope it did, and I will try to create more of these videos um, for all the little stuff that I run into because, you know, it seems like I have a problem, and it was solved three years ago in a different edition of of premiere and then the problem all of a sudden comes back so um that's how it is uh, make sure to make sure to subscribe leave a comment leave a like and um you know any questions anything tutorials anything like that you want me to go over let me know i'd be more than happy to help you make sure to also follow me on instagram at the lead nerd i'll see you next time thanks